creative friends, welcome back. I'm Shannon and I am a Connecticut painter and here to share with you bits about my journey as a working artist and also encourage you to pursue your own creative interests, whatever they may be. I am a big fan of exploring your creativity and doing more of what you enjoy as often as possible. So if you're new here, I just want to say welcome. I've got a lot of new subscribers thanks to the bullet journaling video that I did a couple months ago. I'm so glad you're here and I'm so glad to read all your comments and see how it resonated with you. And if you have been here before, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here, all of you. And I am just testing out some new lighting today. It is the middle of the day and I have a very short amount of time while my kids are both at camp. So I wanted to give a quick welcome to you and just give you a little update on what's going on with me here and this this summer. It has been actually a little bit crazy around here and I have been very frustrated because <laughs> I've recorded so many videos with the intent of putting them on this channel and they've been painting videos and pep talks and all sorts of things that I'm like so inspired in the moment to record and share with you. And I actually ran into an issue with the video editing software that I use. My videos weren't loading. There were pieces missing that I had already edited. I basically decided I had to throw it all out and start fresh. So this is my starting fresh right here today. And <laughs> so if you've been wondering why I don't upload videos very often. First of all, ADHD. I am very good at getting like 30% or 60% or 85% through a project or task and then getting distracted and focusing on something else and then weeks pass. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you, but I do intend to shoot more videos here for the channel. I have a list of a hundred ideas for videos that I want to make, not just this year, but just going forward. In addition to painting videos and sharing, you know, my creative process with you, because I don't know, I think it's fun to watch other people paint and hear what they're thinking as they're working and going along. So if you're interested in stuff like that, let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you might want to hear from me. If you have any questions about me, about what I do, about what I used to do. Um, I'm open to doing a lot of different kinds of videos here. I gotta think of what I wanna say. So one of the things that I hear from a lot of people who want to get started painting or doing any sort of artistic crafts or pursuing their interests is how do you get started? How do you make time for it? How do you like make yourself actually do it other than just buying the supplies because we all know that buying supplies is really fun that's like a hobby in and of itself you know i think people get stuck or hung up in maybe some insecurity of like overthinking how to get started i know this still happens to me all the time and i've been painting for three years sometimes i literally stare at a blank canvas or page and freeze up like what am i gonna make what is it gonna be? Is it gonna be amazing? Is it gonna be terrible? What if it's terrible? I can't show anybody. Uh, is anybody gonna like it? Does that matter? No, it doesn't matter. So I should probably just get started. <laughs> and I will just tell you, it's a very, very simple piece of advice that I have for you today. And it's gonna sound so, so obvious, so simple. And I almost feel icky just sitting here saying it but my advice is to just get started. Get started. The hardest part is getting started. And once you get started, you just go. You just get into it. You get in that beautiful creative flow. You lose hours of your day because you're so excited with what you're doing in the moment. But we as humans get so held up by overthinking what is ahead of us that we don't even take that first step. Even if we have a whole bunch of supplies right in front of us, a whole bunch of paint, a whole bunch of yarn, we've got a stack of canvases in the corner and we're like, well, if it isn't amazing and perfect, I might as well not even try. Does that sound familiar? Like, have you felt that before? Have you thought that before? I have. 
I'm just gonna be honest, everyone does because it's just the nature of the human brain and things that we're told growing up about what you need to be or do to be an artist. Um, and a lot of being an artist is just <laughs> throwing that all away, throw it out the window and play and have fun and explore and get messy. So three years ago when I started painting, I had no idea that this was going to become what I do. I had no idea. I really started painting because I needed something for comfort. I needed something to be able to just kind of zone out. I was going through a personal loss. I lost a pregnancy at 16 weeks and it was devastating. It was traumatic. I was deep, deep, deep in my grief and I needed to do something, anything to feel better, to feel happier, to get my anger out, to get my sadness out. And painting very quickly and easily became that thing for me. And another thing that I really leaned into, which is probably not surprising if you are into it as well, is crocheting because it's very repetitive, it's very meditative, and in that way, it's very comforting. So going through the winter, going through this grief journey, I needed something that I knew I would enjoy. And growing up, I always loved painting. I've been doing a whole variety of arts and crafts my whole life. I've been sewing, I've been painting, I've been crocheting. I, I grew up in a very encouraging family. Thank you family for being so encouraging to really explore and, and, and find the things that I enjoy, not just things that I'm good at, because we're not good at everything, but you can still enjoy things, even if you're not good at it. Like, I think as a society, we feel like we have to be good at things in order to do them. <laughs> it's just not true. <laughs> and one of the things I want to dismantle here is all these ideas that are planted in us as we grow up and come into adulthood and are maybe looking for things that simply make us happy, that simply fulfill this creative spark, that simply get us excited to do something new. And I feel so lucky that I had the opportunity to try and learn all these different things. And painting was very much a constant throughout you know, from start to now, where I took painting classes and in college I took a lot of art classes. And even when I was out of college and working a corporate job and my husband and I moved in together before we were married, whatever, I remember buying an easel and setting it up in the corner of our living room. Not this living room, that was like six or seven living rooms ago. But I remember setting up an easel and going to a local store and buying some cheap acrylics and some brushes and some little canvas panels and just going home and painting after work because it was so relaxing and my job was so stressful. You know, even then knew this is something that I enjoy. Even if I'm not great at it, it helps me chill out and it makes me happy. And my husband would come home and say like, it's really great to see you painting because you just look happy. You look like you feel good and relaxed. I mean, that's something, right? So I've always been a painter. I've always been an artist. It took me a while to be able to say that and feel comfortable saying that. That's another thing. Like, how do we get over the whole idea of like, to be an artist, you must wear a beret and carry a big, palette and have this fancy studio with great lighting like I'm in the front of my living room and I'm sweating my butt off because it's like 97 degrees today. What makes you an artist is making art. Deciding I want to make art and doing it. So you want to get started? Start. Start today. Start tomorrow. Start whenever but start. If you have ADHD, maybe set a reminder, <laughs> set an appointment in your phone to ping you and be like, hey, paint today. And then take the steps you need to do so that when you feel that spark to do it, you'll be ready. A lot of times 
if I'm not fully set up, like if you saw my table in front of me, I have my palette, I have my paints, I have water, I have brushes, I have more paints, I have space to work. I can sit down right now and start painting if I want to. If I didn't have all this stuff out in front of me, ready to go, I wouldn't paint as much. So if your brain works like mine, <laughs> maybe going to the store, picking out a couple colors that you like, a couple colors of paint, a couple brushes that look fun or interesting, uh, get a plastic palette. It doesn't need to be fancy. I use this, I think it's a dollar. If you have like an Ocean State job lot near you, I don't know if that's a New England thing, or an art store, you can go to Michael's, you can go to Joann's. There are a lot of places you can buy acrylics on Amazon and they can be shipped to your door. You don't even have to leave your house. But gather your things, create a space in your house or in your room, in your dorm room, in your dining room, maybe a corner of your kitchen counter or your kitchen island that just gathers up mail and everyone else in the house is junk anyways, <laughs> and just create a space that's ready to go when you're ready to go. And when you're ready to go, just start, get started. I'm gonna give you a little quick hint of something that I do that really helps me. It, I guess it's a creative icebreaker because when you're staring at a blank page or a blank canvas or you're getting ready to start writing and you're just sitting there and you don't know where to begin. You don't have to know where to begin. You just have to begin. Does that make sense? So when you have a paper or canvas in front of you and you have your paints all squeezed out on your palette and ready to go and you have a brush in your hand and you start feeling that like paralyzing fear of like, uh, I don't know what to do. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna dip your brush in a color, any color at all, and you're just gonna start putting it on the paper. Even if you have an idea in your head of what you wanna make, even if you have no idea in your head of what you wanna make, just put some paint on the paper or color pencil or crayon or whatever you use, just put it on the paper and start playing around with it. It's kind of like a warm up for sports. You have to like warm up your brain and let go of all those inhibiting thoughts of like, uh, what's it gonna be? Is it gonna be good? Like you have to figure out a way to let those thoughts go. And that takes a warm up, like actually physically warming up your body and your brain to create art. Breaking up that big white space helps. It literally is like cracking an egg open. It's like, you'll feel this feeling of relief wash over you of like, okay, I made a mark. I can do this, I can keep going. It's not such a big deal. Like I can get more paper or I can get another canvas if this really turns out to be something that I don't like, but just getting that first mark down. Sometimes I start with black. I don't know why, but I think it's just the stark black on white. Like I just start making a mess and I know in my head, it doesn't matter what I'm doing because I'm gonna paint over it. Like most likely, 99.9% .9 of the time you don't see those marks by the I don't see those marks by the time I'm done but it helps me to just get in the zone let go of the whole like fear of creating and just have fun and then you have fun like you just get to paint you just get to make stuff how great is that all right so I'm gonna wrap this up I actually have to go eat a sandwich because hello brain that is something that I always forget to do lunch is a struggle let me know in the comments what you think. If you are getting started with a new project or a new activity or creative interest, I would love to hear what you're making or what you are interested in making. Like, I wanna see you in the comments so I can reply to you and send you some encouragement. I think that would be awesome. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, just hit the subscribe button below. I really, 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 really hope to be sharing videos more often, more regularly, and really just create a community of creative awesomeness here. <laughs> I'll have to come up with maybe like a cool name for what we're building here. But I truly believe that building community around shared interest, which here it's all about creativity, creative living, doing things that we love, doing things that help us feel better, Maybe you have ADHD, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. We all are welcome here. But yeah, I am excited to move forward with this channel. I'm so happy you're here. And wherever you are today, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Stay cool. If you can stay inside in air conditioning, 
try to do that because oh my goodness it is hot Whew, I gotta go drink some water but thank you for being here and my next video that I'm gonna share with you is actually not having to do with painting but it is putting a creative spin on something that you might have in your house already it is creative, it's artistic, it's colorful, and I can't wait to share it with you. If you hit the bell button near the subscribe button below, that'll send you notifications when my new videos are uploaded. And again, I would love to know in the comments what you're creating, what you're interested in making. If you're struggling with anything and could use some encouragement, like let's get to know each other, like actually beyond this video, let's encourage each other and work through things together and just make this a happy little creative place happy little creative place maybe that is something <laughs> thanks for watching i'm shannon you can connect with me anytime on my social media accounts which are linked below in the description and i hope you have a great day